Wayne Tebow's gumball machine. So what we're gonna do is you need to find something that's a circle. You don't want it too big, but you want it to be the top of your gumball machine. Now, if you want to use a different shape, like a rectangle, feel free to do that as well. But I'm just gonna use this. It's in the room here and it's just about the perfect shape. Um, let me just lay it on and then trace around it. You can go light. That way if you wanna change something you can. All right, so there I have my, my circle for my gumball machine. Now this is the top, this is where actually the uh, gumballs will be. Um, you may wanna add a top to this. So by adding a top, if you just come up and add a couple of lines, two parallel lines on either side. And then because it's rounded, we're gonna give it that smile, we're gonna need to make like a smile to create the illusion. And then we'll do another one. And then we'll just add kind of a top, okay? And then we can even erase away any of this extra. Okay, so now we have the top of our gumball machine. Okay, and then the bottom, same thing. Um, you can make it square however you want. I'm just gonna kind of come down the sides here and make the base. If you have a smaller circle, you could, you know, make yours on a stand. Um, and again, I'm gonna bring that with that smile line to make it look like it is rounded. Okay, and then we're gonna add, you know, where the the piece that you turn goes. And maybe there's just like a round part there, and then of course we gotta have a coin slot. And so I'm gonna write 25 cents, and then of course the place where you put your coin. Um, you can get as creative with this as you want. I'm even gonna put like a plate over this. And then, oh, I need a little door where my gumbo comes out. And, all right. And again, you can decorate this however you want. That's up to you. Um, so here is the real important part of the lesson. We wanna show overlapping. Um, and we've done that with shapes with Frank Stella. And now we're gonna do it with actual objects. So we're using space, so distance. So if we know one gumball's in front, we're gonna see the whole gumball. But if there's a gumball behind it, we'll only see parts of it. So I'm using a glue stick. You can use something that is round. And all you have to do is trace your circle and just add as many circles as you can. It does not have to fill up the whole gumball machine, okay? So you can make your gumball machine popular by not having as many in there. Um, and then as you start to add, so I want to make it looks like I got a little round up there. It's behind it. So I might come over here and if this one's behind, I'll have a line like that. I think I can fit another one right in this area.
that's about it. You can keep going if you want. You can add a little shine to the um, globe. That's what that part's called of your gumball machine. You can color this in. You can leave it a pencil drawing. If you leave it a pencil drawing, I just ask that maybe you add some value by just shading in a few little spots and finishing it up. The gumballs are so fun to color, so you can like make your favorite color gumballs. Like maybe this is a pink, you know, all only pink gumballs or however you would like to do that. And like I said, you can decorate your little door, however you want to finish this lovely gumball machine up. All right, when you are all done with this, please make sure you click on the Artsonia link. It is there. I think I have, uh, Wayne Tebow was actually holding the link, so all you have to do is click on that link, and then remember the access code is on the dry erase board on the same page. All right, well, can't wait to see how these turn out. See you in a couple of weeks.